and welcome to For Further Review. Today we have three very special guests. We have Stephanie Turner, who is the second grade teacher at Bradley Academy. We have Dr. Kim Fowler, who is the principal at Bradley Academy. And we have Allison Payne, who is the counselor at Bradley Academy. And they are here because they are very special ladies. Uh, Ms. Turner and Ms. Payne are both Teachers of the Year at Bradley, and Ms. Payne is the Regional Teacher of the Year. So we're very excited about having you. Let me ask you this, uh, Stephanie, you're a second grade teacher. Why did you become a teacher? Children. I love working with children. I like to see their aha moments when I um, teach them something or when they learn something new. Okay. And Allison, let's ask you the same question. Why did you become a teacher? When I was a little girl, my uncle uh, was born with brain damage had mental retardation and, and my grandparents were told that he couldn't learn, that um, he would never be able to learn like everybody else and he was just a few years older than me and he was in the classroom down the hallway and so as I learned to read, I taught him to read. As I learned to do math, I taught him to do math and I thought if I can do this and I'm a kid then I can grow up and be a teacher and do that for anybody. What would be your advice, Allison, for someone who wanted to be a teacher? Why should they go into teaching? I think, just like Stephanie said, she loves the children. So if you have that passion for children, if you have that passion for lo the love of learning and want to share that, I'd say go, go into it. Okay. And let me ask you, Stephanie, anything that you want to add to that? You have to be flexible mm -hmm. because the children are the focus of what we're there for and they lead and guide us in what we do daily. Okay. One of the things that we talk about in Murfreesboro City, and Stephanie, I'll come back to you for this one, we talk about the whole child. What does that mean to you? The whole child includes not only the academics, but the physical, the um, mental, the emotional stability of the children, and as teachers, we have to um, be able to help each child in every aspect of, of that to make sure that they succeed and reach their potential in learning. And as Allison is a great guidance counselor, she is there to provide not only the emotional support for the children, to, for the whole child, but also for us as teachers to be able to provide what we need to make sure that as teachers we provide for the whole child also. Allison, uh, Stephanie just talked about you a little bit. Uh, talk about Stephanie a little bit. Tell me what makes her a great teacher. Oh, well, I guess because Stephanie does see the whole child. Uh, I passed her in the hallway in the morning. There was a little boy in her class that was upset on the way to breakfast, and she grabbed him and she said, what's wrong? You know, get your breakfast, let's go to the room, let's talk. Because she knew if he started the day upset, he wasn't going to learn. So she took that extra time out of her free time before school to get him to make sure his day started off right. Dr. Fowler, you've been at Bradley a while now, and you've been a principal for a long time. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you've seen teaching change, or has it changed over the last few years? Teaching, the basic concepts of teaching have in a sense remained the same. I think what has really changed is the importance of teaching and the focus on not just learning specific skills, but training students to be able to be ready for the world to come, which is the knowledge and everything has increased so rapidly that the biggest change I see, I think curriculum wise, is that we're now having to prepare children for a world that we really cannot envision what it's going to be like for them and that how vital it is for every single child to have that basic knowledge and before we we didn't have to, there were jobs there were opportunities for children even if they didn't have a basic level of literacy no one can survive today without a basic level of literacy and another area that is extensively different, I think, is the, some of the social-emotional baggage that we see very, very young children come with. And that's why we have to have a real focus in the school system, in every school system, on the needs of every single child. Because every single child needs to make it. Not just the ones um, that are born into it, 
but every single child deserves the very best education possible and we need to take each child on that individual journey or uh, and it, it's dependent upon us to do that what do you look for in a teacher to be able to do that what kind of characteristics are you seeking passion uh, this is not uh, a at our school it's not a 7 to 245 job uh, somewhere people got that idea that it was a 7 to 245 job it's not it is a every single waking minute you go to bed at night thinking about children sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night thinking about children and you have to be proactive flexible willing to look at each of, of those single children and we have to think about those learning needs these ladies do that they look at each single child they come into contact with and what makes them above standard is their passion. Stephanie Turner and Allison Payne probably work 60 hours a week. They're there with me. I can finally usually get them to leave maybe on Friday evening where I can get some stuff done. But these ladies are there all the time. They're there on Saturdays. They're there on Sundays. They're there at night. And because the needs of, those ch of our children occupies them. It's their passion. They want to go, they want to, in, when, in 20 years from now, they want those children, they want to look at them, they want to see them graduating from MTSU. They want to see them becoming successful human beings. And that's their passion, and that's what they live for. Kim, let me ask you this. You've been with Murfreesboro City now since about August, I guess. Why, why did you come here? Why did I come? Why did you come to Murfreesboro City? <laughs> probably the passion of Linda Gilbert. <laughs> no, <laughs> probably the, the biggest uh, uh, determining factor for me. Uh, looking, I what I I didn't expect this. Um, um, I wanted to make a difference in the lives of individual children, and I wanted to have that freedom to do what it takes to make that happen and not necessarily a bureaucratic this is the way you're going to do it and this is the way you're going to do it but looking at my school working with our teachers looking at each individual child uh, and I feel like in Murfreesboro City Schools that we have that opportunity to do that to look at each child thank you Allison let me ask you what makes Murfreesboro City special for you Murfreesboro City. I've been here a long time. <laughs> I know that I um, I went to MTSU and then did my student teaching in Murfreesboro City Schools. I was hired right away. I um, helped start the beginning part of the ESP program in 1986. I was one of the first workers there. So I've invested a lot of time because I see that it's a great school system. We, uh, we have the needs of the children forefront. Uh, we have the support, principal, director of schools, everybody supports us, and I just say it's a great place to live and to work. Stephanie, let me ask you, you've been here a while, family's very active in the community, mm -hmm. uh, very admired family, by the way. Mm -hmm. could, you, could you talk a little bit about what you see as our future? I see potential in every one of the children for our future. We are making progress, slowly, but surely. But I see in the future, Murfreesboro City Schools will be back on top. And by the support that we have from you and from our principals, the teachers will excel as well as help our students excel and do what uh, we would like for them to do and reach to what they're capable of reaching. Well, teachers, I can't thank you enough for what you do every day. And Kim, for your leadership. I can assure you that, that we do look forward to working with you, and we thank you very much for what you do for children. And we thank you very much for what you do for children and for this community. And we thank you for your support of Murfreesboro City Schools.